Okay, so Josie, I'm just going to teach you how to activate those deep tummy muscles first up by touch, by palpation. So I'll go on this side, you go on the other side. So you're just going to feel for the bony bit on the front of the hip. Okay, come in a centimetre and then down a centimetre and now cough. <coughs> cough. Proper cough. <coughs> okay, see when you cough, see how everything puffs out? That's what you don't want to feel. Okay, what you do want to feel is these two bones being pulled together that way. Okay, so to do that, imagine you've got a belt buckle on, okay, and you're just trying to pull that belt buckle, but only that belt buckle down towards your spine. Okay, so just drawing in nice and slow, drawing on a little bit more, and relax. Okay, so I can see a little bit of upper abdominal activation there. So just think about all the muscles underneath your belly button. Okay, so again, just drawing on nice and slow, a little bit more. Good, very good. Okay, so you'll just feel the muscle kind of swell underneath your fingertips. You want to hold that for 10 seconds, 10 times, twice a day. Okay, so Josie's been uh, going away for a couple of days and been working on activating her transverse abdominus muscle just via touch, via palpation. Now we're going to use this machine right here, the real-time ultrasound, to, to have a look at those muscles on the TV screen. So Josie, if I was to cut you across the middle like that and look down. Okay, you've got your six pack muscles there, your external obliques, internal obliques, deepest of all is your transverse abs. Okay, this is what that muscle looks like in its entirety. So this is a side on view, you've got your rib cage, you've got your pelvis. This muscle starts on your back and wraps all the way around to the other side. It kind of looks and acts like a corset does. So when it contracts, it doesn't puff out like a bicep does. It'll actually, it'll actually tighten this way. Okay, so it's this muscle that we lose when we hurt our back, and that's the one that you've been working on over the last few days. So let's have a look at that on the TV screen. All right, so this will be a little bit cold. Okay. Now, if I can get you just to hold that probe for me, and I'll put this on the screen here. Good, that's perfect. So between that line there and that line there, that's Josie's transverse abdominus muscle. Okay, so I'll keep the, keep the cursor on that. Good, now when you're ready Josie, just switch on that tummy muscle like you've been working on. Okay, way too hard because you can see in the Top corner of the screen, the, the uh, oblique muscles are switching on. So just relax, 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 relax. Okay, good. And just drawing on nice and slow. Okay, a little bit more. Good, hold that there. Okay, so you'll just see there that the transverse abs kind of fattens up like a sausage does. It, it, it shortens and widens. Okay, and relax. We're going to try and hold one for 10 seconds. So relax, relax, relax. Okay, just drawing on nice and slow. A little bit more. Good, hold that there. Not too bad, not too bad. Great, and relax there. So now what you can do, now that we're confident that we've got the activation correct, we can start to incorporate that into functional movements. So Josie, when you go from sit to stand, before you sneeze, before you pick up a box, engage those tummy muscles. Basically what we're trying to do is trick the brain into thinking, right, when I move, I want this muscle to switch on, okay?